Good morning class. Today, I am going to explain how monetary policy can be used to increase real national income. First, let us recap how Y is determined by ASAD. When components of AD increase, overall AD will increase, as shown. Moving on, if productive capacity was to increase, AS increases, and the AS curve shifts to the right. Therefore, for Y to increase, quantitative MP, to increase money supply, can be implemented. The central bank, can go about raising money supply, by reducing bank rate, reducing cash reserve ratio or conducting open market sales of bonds. We will now examine OMO in detail. OMO refers to the buying, and selling of government securities in the open market, by the central bank. The central bank, will buy securities from commercial banks, and the public when money supply is to be increased. This increases their reserves, and their ability to create credit. This results in falling interest rates, which eventually leads to an increase in Y. The Keynesian transmission mechanism, will help illustrate this point. With lower interest rates, cost of borrowing falls, and this raises profitability, resulting in rise in investments. Consumers would also find it cheaper, to purchase goods. Hence, increase in C component, and increase in I component, increases AD. However, falling interest rates, will also cause depreciation, of the domestic currency. Lower domestic interest rates induce investors to buy into foreign assets, causing an appreciation of the foreign currency. Simultaneously, people expect that increase in money supply in the domestic country, eventually leads to a weaker currency in that country. They expect the currency, to depreciate in the future too. This increases the supply, of the country's currency in the ER market, causing a depreciation of the domestic currency. Depreciation of a country's currency, makes its exports cheaper, and its imports dearer. As such, exports increase and imports decrease. The Marshall Learner condition states that, for a currency depreciation, 
to have a positive impact on net export, the sum of PED of exports, and imports, must be greater than 1. If the Marshall Learner condition is met, this leads to a rise, in the domestic country's net exports, resulting in an increase, in AD. Next, we will talk about raising AS. As mentioned before, lower interest rates, results in a rise in investments. This means that producers have more capital and resources, to produce more goods in a shorter period of time. In the long run, productive capacity thus increases. This causes AS to increase, and the AS curve shifts rightwards. After explaining so much, I am sure, you will be able to answer the given assignment question. All the best! Goodbye class.